Comfort R is the HVAC manufacturer train and American standards dehumidification mode on variable speed air handlers. So if you live in an area affected by high humidity levels, Comfort R mode is a great way to automatically adjust how humidity translates inside your home. It's an added feature that separates Train's premium models from their standard models. The premium units with variable speed motors and not ECM motors are the S9V2, the XC95 gas furnaces, the XL16C package units, and the TAM9, TEM6, and TEM-A air handlers. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you can let YouTube know that you wanna be notified of all of our videos as they come out. A quick refresher here. The two main functions of an air conditioner are one, remove heat, and two, remove humidity. When the AC is turned on, the moisture or humidity in your home is brought to the evaporator coil the cold coil. The warm air from the house comes into contact with the cold evaporator coil and condenses to make water on the coil. That condensate then drains out to the side of the house and onto the ground. Now, evaporator coils only have so much room for air to pass through when the AC is on. They have very thin blades for the air to pass through. If the coil gets too wet, the blower is getting a lot of resistance when the unit is trying to push air, so the dehumidification process becomes more difficult, cooling the house takes longer, which increases the electric bill for your home. Whew. So how does Comfort R work? In the most basic sense, Comfort R mode regulates air speed at startup to carefully control humidity levels. Lower humidity can lead to savings by reducing moisture levels in the air so that you can keep the thermostat at a higher setting and still feel comfortable. Comfort R mode also offers warmer startup with an all-electric heat pump during the heating season. So you don't feel that blast of cold air when you turn on the heater when you're really looking for that warm and cozy air. Now, I'm gonna get a little technical here, but I'll try and keep most of you with me. I always try to talk in the most basic terms so everyone understands. Let's learn about this with a simple single stage system. On a call for cooling, a single stage air conditioner and its indoor blower motor simultaneously turn on and begin cooling immediately at 100% speed or capacity. And yes, people do buy upgraded variable speed furnaces like the S9V2 furnace to match their standard single stage outdoor condenser. So when the AC starts, the outdoor unit comes on at normal speed, 100%. But the indoor blower with Comfort R enhancement will slowly ramp up to 50% speed over the first minute. This will allow the indoor evaporator coil to get cold quicker because you don't have as much warm room air temperature going across the coil to compete with the coil allowing it to get colder faster. If you have a heat pump matchup, this 50% ramp up during the first minute will let your indoor coil get hot quicker. Over the next minute or two and up to about eight minutes, the fan will ramp up to 80% capacity to help further dehumidify in cooling mode or enhance warm air heating for heat pumps. If necessary, after eight or nine minutes of the AC being on, or the heat pump, the fan will increase to 100% capacity, boosting its cooling function until the thermostat is satisfied. Now, normally when the temperature is satisfied, the outdoor compressor shuts off and the indoor blower turns off simultaneously. There's no delay. In Comfort R mode, the outdoor compressor shuts off, but the indoor fan will ramp down to 50% capacity for three minutes. This is for efficiency because the indoor coil will still be cold for a bit. So why not utilize the cold coil and run some air across it and have it sent to the rooms of the house. Two stage systems work at 70% speed and 100% speed or capacity. In a general sense, everything works the same. 
a slow ramp up to 50% of whatever stage it's in, first or second stage, up to 80% for a few more minutes, even if it's in the same stage, and then up to 100% fan speed for that stage if it's needed until the set point is reached. Back down to 50% blower speed for three minutes after the outdoor compressor shuts off and the indoor temperature in the room is reached. Then the system is back to off. Fully modulating systems can fluctuate widely, usually 25% to 100% in very small increments. And these will always come with a variable speed blower to match the outdoor variable speed condenser. The ramping up and down happens accordingly. Two things to know. One, your HVAC company has to set this up for you at the time of installation. Two, you have to use the 824, 850, or 1050 thermostats for the system to interpret the humidity levels. And that's here in 2021 at the time of this video. Those thermostats could change from train and American standard as time goes on. Number one, it's something that your installers have to set up for you at the time of installation. There's a BK jumper on the integrated control board for the Comfort R enhancement to work. Air handlers also may have dip switches to dial in for the indoor variable speed motor to match the airflow required for the outdoor unit size. Number two, you also have to have a train or American Standard 824 thermostat. The Comfort R function doesn't work with any thermostat except it's 824 on non-communicating systems and the 850 or 1050 thermostat on the upgraded communicating systems. That's because the thermostat senses the humidity in the house and not a sensor that one might think is located in the air handler itself. So you can't use a Nest, Ecobee, Sensi, or other popular smart thermostats for Comfort R technology. So who needs Comfort R technology the most? Alaska and Hawaii have some of the highest humidity levels every summer. Other than that, it's states in the Southeast, Midwest, and Northeast that have to deal with high relative humidity, like Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, Iowa, Indiana, Michigan, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. You don't have a lot of people west of the Rockies complaining about heavy, humid air in the summertime. The atmosphere here is so dry in California that wildfires spark up and blaze on for weeks at a time because there's very little moisture in the air to keep them at bay. Dehumidification is rarely discussed here in the Sacramento Valley, and that's why Comfort R dehumidification may not be necessarily needed quite as much here in the western states as in the eastern ones. But you'll still find homeowners discussing it with their installer to try and keep precise tabs on the humidity levels in their home. And some people like to invest in the latest technology for the homes. So let's talk about humidity for a bit. Energy Star says anything above 50% indoor humidity in your house is considered high. It can not only cause added stress to your air conditioner, but the human body as well. High humidity in a home can make people struggle to get a good breath because of all the moisture that comes into the lungs with the air that they're trying to breathe in. Energy Star says 30 to 50% humidity in a home is just about right. Modern thermostats have humidity levels readily available for you to view on your smartphone or the face of the thermostat itself. The benefit of having a furnace, package unit, or heat pump air handler with a variable speed motor is that Comfort R technology can be utilized. This allows for one, easier dehumidification of the home, two, the home to cool down faster, three, keep your electric bills lower, and four, keep money in your pocket. Oh, and five on heat pumps, remove that cold blast of air that comes out when starting in heating mode. Well, hopefully this gives you a better idea of how train and American standard Comfort R mode works and what's needed to make it happen. We also discussed if Comfort R mode is something that your home even needs depending on where in the country that you live. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here below on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you will be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. 
and you're watching Fox Family Heating and Air, don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.